Yeah, just take them down there to those guys. Just down a country road. Yeah, I'll take that. There was little time to spare. If you get all these moved, that would sure be helpful. The water couldn't be stopped. Oh, yeah. It'll take you. And Jeremy Hales says everyone Where your boot is. was scrambling to keep it out of houses. So what we're looking at here is just basically the uh, runoff water from the foothills to the north of us it happened to come down through this gentleman's yard and his family's. All anyone could do was redirect the water. Down off and into the pond back there in the back and then out. They've done it twice already. It'll start to peak, you know, later tonight, but this is the beginning of it. Homeowners could only watch in disbelief. Three o'clock is this when cold raging again. It started over slowing, and I was afraid that that house would get flooded. Right here, Wayne. And all these people came and did their sandbag, and they diverted the water to save that house. Thousands of sandbags later, the homes were safe for now. It's just beautiful. Yeah, and amazing. Martha Witt couldn't be more grateful. Yeah, it's been like this all over the county, but this community all across Wasatch County are all stamping up to help their neighbors, and they're, they're impressive folks. Emergency managers know the water works. Won't be over anytime soon. Our folks in Heber City, Midway City, they've all been dealing with it to certain extents. But they're hopeful with efforts like these. This is truly neighbor helping neighbor. Everyone will eventually make it through. Thank you. Thank you for your work. Thank you for your efforts, and thanks for making a a positive difference in, in what you do in our neighborhood.